Hey y'all, welcome back to We Seek Summits. We're continuing in our journey here through doTERRA's single essential oils. And today we are talking about cedarwood. And cedarwood is an oil that we use a lot. A lot. A lot, we do. And um, mainly it's just kind of a base oil in a mm -hmm. lot of blends. And we'll get into some of those blends and how they're effective. But let's start out with, so we we talked about Arbor Vitae. That's mm -hmm. kind of where we started this series, which is also a cedar wood. Mm -hmm. And maybe you all know that um, juniper berry is also kind of closely related, which is another essential oil. They're all within the cypress family, like a cypress tree. Yeah, all so how family. Are, tell us how those are different. Yeah. Um, so a little bit of history is cedar wood, uh, you hear throughout history, it was used a lot by the ancients. Um, you might know in the Bible it talks frequently about the cedars of Lebanon and a lot of the temple and stuff was um, requested to be made out of those and it was Lebanon was famous, actually even it's on the flag. Um, the ancient Phoenicians and Assyrians used cedar for their ships, the, uh, the Egyptians used it, um, the Sumerians used it, and it was, it's possible that one of the first essential oil extracts, um, as it were, or, you know, the extraction of the essential oil right. for use. Before they had distillation. Before they had our do modern distillation. Absolutes. Yeah, yeah absolutes was um, possibly from those Lebanon cedars. So this oil has been around for a really long time. Um, we all know, again, the benefits of cedar in terms of like our cedar chest and preserving. And again, we talked about this in the Arbor Vitae video, so please go watch that one as well because they are very similar. Um, uh, doTERRA's cedar wood is sourced from the, from the U.S. and it's sourced from kind of the southeastern and it's um, Juniperus virginiana. So think kind of like the Virginia region and, um, and sort of the mountains there. Cedar is known for growing in difficult soils. So it thrives under kind of harsher climates, difficult soils, um, extreme weather. So it's one you can find some different places kind of because of that. It's a very, it's a very hardy tree. It's a very vivacious tree. It's a very strong tree. And because of that, those properties kind of translate to sort of how we would use the oil for vitality and for strength and for hardiness, I guess, <laughs> to be hardy. Um, the trees can grow up to about 100 feet. I mean, they're, they can be huge trees. They can also be about 16 feet to 100 feet, so they can be very large. They also can live for a very long time. Again, we talked about the Arbor Vitae. You know, they can live eight, 900 yeah, years yeah, old. So yes, they're very hardy trees. Um, like, ooh, I got, there's a little bit on the lid, so I got some on my fingers. Um, like the Arbor Vitae, doTERRA cedarwood is sourced from, uh, what do you call it? The, the lumber industry. It's kind of like the byproduct. Yes. There you go. The byproduct the, of the, the lumber sawdust, industry. The sawdust, the bark, the wood, you know, the, the hardwood. The... Yes. So again, you know, a great sustainable product. Um, yeah. Okay. So tell us about the chemistry of cedarwood. Yeah. So what's really interesting is being part of the same family or very closely related to Arbor Vitae, I expected the chemistry to be similar, but it's actually not. Um, so there the, the name was Thuja Pacata for Arbor Vitae. And so some of the compounds that we talked about kind of had that Thuja part of it. Mm -hmm. So it's really interesting, like when you when we probably notice in picking up as we talk about these chemical compounds is some are named after the plant in which they were found. So back in the early days of aromatherapy and organic chemistry, when they were trying to isolate and identify mm -hmm. these compounds, they didn't have naming conventions. And so they just kind of named it after where they found it. Yeah. Um, later on as the chemistry evolved, we have a modern naming system, but a lot of these compounds we refer to the old name, the original name that they were found. And so um, I'll talk about it here in a minute, but the main, one of the main compounds we're after in cedarwood is called cedrol. So you notice kind of the spelling cedrol. and the pronunciation, cedrol, cedar. <laughs> um, and you have a sesquiterpene here, which is alpha cedrine. So you can kind of see how the naming follows the plant yeah. where it came from. But okay, so tell us about alpha so cedrine. there's three three chemical constituents we like in uh, cedarwood. We have alpha cedrine, we have the thuja spring, and cedrol. So the alpha cedrine is about 36% of the oil, and it's cleansing. So okay. when we get into the applications of this mm -hmm. oil, you'll see some cleansing applications. That's the the chemistry there. Then the thujocene, 
which these are both sesquiterpenes, so it's the one and a half mm -hmm. isoprene units in the structure. This is the compound that's given us the aroma. Now, cedarwood, I love the aroma. Mm -hmm. It's um, very grounding, but very subtle, and it's very easy it uh, to mask the scent with other oils. It's definitely woodsy, um, a little bit like kind of a balsamic notes because obviously balsamic is in aged in barrels, but um, not, yeah, it's, it's not like an overpowering scent. It's just a very subtle, very subtle. kind you of know, a lingering scent. It's one that just sort of holds real steady. Yeah, Arbor Vitae is much more pungent in yes. my opinion, but this one, I just, I love it like kind of that. Ooh, you know, there's something there. I smell it. What is it? Yeah. That's why we kind of like to use cedarwood in yeah. some of our aromatherapy blends. Um, and then we have a new, kind of a new compound we haven't talked about yet, which is a sesquiterpene alcohol. So okay. again, it's one and a half isoprene units, but it has a oxygen and a hydrogen, an yeah. alcohol group hanging So on what does the alcohol group cedral. do? This is, well, it's actually calming. It's calming okay. to our system. And um, it also gives the oil some of the anti infectious properties uh, to it. So when you see okay. some of the things you can use this oil for, cedrol is playing, playing a role there. there. Yeah, so that's, that's kind of a summary okay. of the chemistry. In total, that's about 93% of the oil. Mm -hmm. You know, the balance are just some other different sesquiterpenes and sesquiterpene alcohols. Yeah. Uh, that's really what this oil is. Um, okay, so talk about the blends that it's in. Um, so we talked about it is very calming, but revitalizing at the same time. So it is in the kids stronger blend, which is kind of like the on guard. Um, it's sort of their version of on guard. The oils are different, but that's kind of how kids could use it is to just overall strengthen their body, strengthen their immune systems. Um, it is in Clary Calm, which is amazing for all things hormonal, balance, grounding, women, health, centering. And that's actually one that I don't have at the moment. So I know Clary Combins, don't freak out. Um, I don't have it to show you. It is in the Serenity blend, um, which is just amazing. I mean, this is the restful blend. And so most people use it at night. It helps. It really helps kind of fall asleep, but also stay asleep. And like most of them get into those deeper rhythms of sleep. So your body can rest and recover. But this is, blend is also... Is it in the Serenity Soft Gels as well? No. Um, the Serenity Soft Gels are mostly um, herbal uh, herbal products. But it has a the and lavender. lavender. Yeah. And lavender, yeah. So because cedar wood, cedar wood is not recommended for internal use. It's a wood. Don't eat the tree. Don't go much on sawdust. Um, so uh, Serenity, in that sense, is recommended for topical or diffuser. Um, but the Serenity Soft Gels, you could actually pair those together. Those would be great for sleeping. Um, this one also, Serenity, is really good for just during the day, for just calming anxiety, focus, yeah, and all that. That's interesting. I, I was wondering, you know, because, yeah, we kind of say that's our rule of thumb yeah. if you don't eat trees. But because there's a soft gel, and it's called the same thing, I just wanted to clarify yeah, that you know? that essential oil is not in the soft gel. Yeah. It's just in the yeah. blended oil. Or, so Serenity would be a great place to start, or we're going to tag, there's a great video that doTERRA has done about the bedtime routine, which can be really nice if you've got a good routine and the kids do it well, but it can also be one of the most stressful times of the day. So a really great tip is you pull out cedar wood and then you can pull out a lot of the other calming oils and have the kids make their own blend. Like, you know, have them try it and kind of see what they like. Um, cedar wood is great for brain health. It's great for rest. It's great for all the cleansing and stuff. So that's one that we put in and we use as the base note. So you can grab one of the little glass bottles and have your kids make their own calming blend that you can spray on the pillows or they can spray on or roll on or really give them that freedom. Mm -hmm. Let's see what other blends. Is. Oh, it's an anchor, which we have talked about before that we really love. Um, and because it's cleansing a pest repellent, it's in the awesome Terra Shield. So this is the spray one, or you can get the oil um, that you could like put in the diffuser, you know, by your door. Yeah, I think that's kind of really notable about the the cedar family is that we build a lot of stuff out yeah. of it because insects because don't pesticides. eat it. They don't yes. like those oils that are in the wood. They'd rather mm -hmm. go munch on something else. So we can use that essential oil yeah. in our. So it's a new little trick that we just learned about. Yeah, we're learning as we do these. Like we're like, oh, all these ways. So um, we just found out that you could kind of make your own uh, mothballs. That's right. Yeah, if you take a, a cotton ball. Yeah, or like put, one of those laundry balls, like the wool laundry yeah, ball. Yeah, anything or, absorbent. Yeah. And put some of that essential oil in there. If you're in a 
location that's prone to having your wool or other things attacked by insects, insects, sorry, put that in or your you closet. Yeah. And then when you kind of notice the aromas going away, put some cedar wood on drops there. on, or yeah. if you need to throw it kind of like around your house, if little critters are coming in. Um, and then the last one that I'm going to mention that cedar wood is in is in correct decks, which I actually didn't use it. So a lot of people say like, oh, I don't have kids. I don't necessarily need it. This is for all bumps, bruises, scrapes, cuts, bites, rashes, etc. Um, <laughs> we use this a lot. If you notice, I got a, red, a little bit of a red <laughs> eye. Beautiful <laughs> shiner right there. Um, this is amazing. So cedar wood, as Dominic was mentioning, for all things cleansing and purifying. So that's in the air, around your house, but also in your body and on your skin. Um, so this is a great one for skin health. So if you've got anything that crops up, um, anything that you have done to yourself, or I, um, I'm just gonna be real with y'all, I have struggled with acne for over half my life. I've had it for a couple decades. Um, I've done all the things, uh, th anyway, I've done all the things and learning more about oils and natural health and food, and one of the reasons we're so passionate about it is most skin issues tend to be an internal issue. So as I have cleansed things up inside and fought off a variety of things, my skin has changed. It kind of expresses that. So when I change something, like right now I'm supporting my thyroid, because that's been a bit of an issue, giving it more good iodine, um, trying to get out the bad metals. Well, so my skin kind of flares up, so you all can maybe see, I don't know if you can see, but I've got like a good flare going around here, which will then hopefully go away as I clean things up. So, this is long, I'm sorry, um, but you can totally take the correct dex, which has the cedar wood in it and some other great oils, and you know, find those spots and just go on those spots like you would a little, uh, you know, just a little spot treatment cream. This is also phenomenal for under eye puffiness and bags. So you can just rub a little bit right there. And this is kind of like beauty care to go. <laughs> um, plus whatever else comes up. We literally have these all around our house. I think we've got one in here, one in our bathroom, one upstairs, one in the car, one in our gym bag. Um, it's everywhere. Yeah, correct. Great yes, product. Yes, correct. It. Okay, moving on. Yeah, so some other applications. So we we kind of hit. It's in a lot of blends. Mm -hmm. We use it in our diffuser. Actually, right now we yeah. Have, what do you have? In, uh, what do you put in the diffuser? I have bergamot, cedarwood, juniper berry, and rosemary. Mm. Going, which is a very subtle yeah, but just very comforting manly um, blend. Blend. Manly so blend. that's going right which now. Which actually so, are similar oils to what's in you. I'm talking about your. <laughs> my, my, your pit juice. We call this pit juice. Yeah. So, so this is my uh, this is my deodorant spray. Um, I don't have bergamot in there, so I have I have cedarwood. It's actually the predominant oil in there. Cedarwood, uh, black pepper, juniper berry, rosemary, wild oh, orange, and spikenard. And I what I do is I have um, basically yeah. a little piece of salt. Yeah, it's like a little a little salt aluminum crystal. Aluminum salt. salt. Um, alluvial uh, salt. Yeah, not aluminum. Not, not aluminum. aluminum. We're alluvial. trying to avoid that one. Uh, salt. salts, so natural salts, and uh, that the salt, of course, helps keep bacteria down. Mm -hmm. And then I use the, the pit juice. It's just water plus those essential oils. Yeah. Spray that under for scent, um, and that's that's how I do my deodorant. So thanks. I didn't know you were throwing that in there, but <laughs> surprise! We're getting real today, y'all. We're we talking are. about yes, we're talking about our deodorant and our acne care, and this is life. Like. Yeah. Um, Okay, so cedar wood. What other use? Oh, well, let's talk great. about the emotional benefits. Because yeah. I read it was it was because it is grounding. It's good for ADD, yes. ADHD, yes. attention. Good for brain stuff. You know, if you suffer from those things, um, how can you use cedar wood? What's what's kind of the aroma benefits? Um, well, actually, let me do. That's a good thing. I'll do the blending notes for that. So, uh, cedar wood is an equalizer and an enhancer. So again, it's going to enhance the properties of the other oils that are in whatever blend you create, and it's also going to help kind of stabilize the blend. It is. This is one of your base notes. So you got your top bright notes that you want. You've got the middle notes that'll kind of fill the blend, and then cedar wood is going to be one of your base notes. It's just going to hold it all together and sort of create some harmony in your blend. Um, it goes really well with a lot of the other woods and all of the woods, like the wood family, and so that includes myrrh and frankincense as well as the firs, the cypress family here um, are great for emotional health. And think, I mean, how good is it when you get out into the woods and you're breathing and you're hiking and it's just so rejuvenating to the mind, um, as well as kind of calming to the spirit. And so in that sense, cedarwood is great for that. And also, like I said, again, it's really good for brain health. So cedarwood and sandalwood and frankincense and all those are in 
um, actually cedarwood's not an in tune, but kind of thinking that. So for brain health, focus, clarity, and all those work together, um, cedarwood, because of all that, is really great for, again, that calming sense. So it would be a great one to put in your, um, like we've got the new car diffuser that hopefully some of us got in a promotion recently, or you could do, um, you know, there's a little hanging car diffuser or whatever in your car. So you could do that as you're coming home from work to kind of go, whoo, and sort of decompress and reset your mind and uh, get rid of all the ickiness that might have happened at work. Um, it is also great in the emotions book. It talks about that opening yourself up in the experience of community. So if you're a person who has a hard time just being around a lot of people or engaging um, or I don't know, you just sort of get overwhelmed, Cedarwood would be a great one to use for that. And I actually, my dear friend Kelly, who hopefully will be a guest on here, she's got an amazing um, resource, I mean, she's an amazing resource, got an amazing knowledge base and stuff, so maybe she'll do some guessings. But she walked around convention with one of these beautiful little oil diffuser necklaces with Cedarwood on, like just Cedarwood all the time. Um, because that's that's not green it, curtain, it's, so it's a great way to you know use oils to kind of get outside your comfort zone. I was gonna say and that's a great way to use zero because it's not it's very subtle. Yeah. You're not gonna kind of offend yeah. people like um, you know say you're you're if you're using like peppermint or something we that's love really no, noticeable. Yes. Someone else might be like oh, that's a little obnoxious. You know, yeah. kind of smell your oils there. Or like lavender. You know, yeah. people don't always enjoy lavender, so you don't want to blast the people around you. Like that's a little bit insensitive, but but yeah, cedarwood just for that relaxation, yeah. support, um, yeah, and subtlety. Uh, that's that's a great and one. And there are so many. There's so many. There are wood and lava jewelry that's available now. Um, so that's a great way to do it. Or my or leather. Makes, or leather. Yeah, leather would be great. Or ceramic beads. I know they're ceramic jewelry. So finding some of your own little personal diffusers is great. Yeah. Um, okay, that was cedar. Oh, so cedarwood. Yes. To be emotionally connected and to belong, to be supported, to encourage social bonds, um, and be community oriented. And we're all about community here. So y'all put some cedar wood on and then contribute to our community. Yeah, get in um, those comments and tell us how you use cedar wood. Yeah, and, did we uh, miss anything? Really, the only other application or suggested use here is uh, is urinary tract. So yeah. again, that so that cedar all which can help with yes. any. Urinary issues. Yes, we'll just say that just the oil is anti-infectious. So yeah, yeah. So use it for those things and use it for cleansing. Use it for brain. You just use it. Just use yeah. it. It's a good one know, to for brain. To me, to me, cedarwood is almost like one of those staple oils that yeah. it's just kind of in a lot of stuff. It's there. It's giving you great benefits. Yeah. Um, which kind of it's kind of an unsung hero in, it is. in some it is. some ways. And let me know that it's one of the ones that you know we know that these oils are an investment. Like this is an investment financially, and um, to kind of to do your monthly LRP rewards, Cedar one's one of the ones that's uh, a little easier on the budget. I mean, it's really easy on the budget. So get it, use it, especially enjoy for it. sleep. I think yeah. if you're if you're diffusing any kind of oils while you sleep, you or your kids. If it's not a blend like Serenity that already has cedarwood in it, really consider yeah. getting cedarwood and putting it in your, your rest blend. Right. As Dominic and I were wrapping up the cedarwood video and talking about these great diffuser necklaces, and I had an idea. Um, at the bottom of every post in the description, we have a link for more information. There's a Google form to fill out. Uh, that's if you have any questions or if you'd like to know anything more about doTERRA. So I will extend this offer to you that if you would like to go fill that out and you'd like me to contact you more about doTERRA and kind of set an appointment to talk about your needs and more information about the other oils because obviously we're only going through one by one here, then I would love to gift you, to bless you with one of these amazing diffuser necklaces. So um, go comment, fill out that form and we will get together and talk about how oils can hopefully meet some of your some of your needs oh and I forgot next week is cilantro so come back and look for our talk about cilantro next week thanks